What's up guys, Exotic Fan Racer back back with a video. I know it's been a very long time since I posted. Um, you know, I said before I want to get back into making more videos and content, but hopefully, you know, I'll get back into it. Um, post some more videos from now, but um, just uh, want to give a quick, you know, breakdown what's going on in NASCAR. So obviously this weekend they head to Richmond, um, and uh, that's a track uh, second race of the playoffs, um, and uh, Richmond again more like a driver's track, short track. So it should be, it will be a good race. Um, under the lights Saturday night, uh, Richmond doubleheader with the um, Xfinity race before and the Cup race at nights at night so um that's gonna be pretty awesome um you only get those race uh race weekends we have double headers <clears throat> often so it's gonna be great um and then we uh obviously have nine more races until the gen 6 car um is uh gone uh, from NASCAR and uh, that is uh, great uh, in my opinion um, because uh, the Gen 6 car you know to me is is a very um, aero dependent car um, and it really takes took away the stock from these cars um, and uh, yeah, I talked about the issues with the Gen 6 car in my previous videos. If you want to go check it out, you know, you can check out my channel back like two years ago. I posted a video on it. Um, and yeah, so that's obviously, you know, something that uh, I'm looking, something that I'm really looking forward to. Been looking forward to for years. Um, and obviously with the Gen 6 car we have, well, the Gen 6 car will obviously have better racing, but um, NASCAR is, another problem with NASCAR, well two other problems, is obviously the package for the Mountain Half tracks, um, they're going to be switching over, to, I mean they are, they, the Mountain Half tracks they're doing full throttle racing ever since 2018 which I am not for um, and uh, but that's the route the NASCAR wants to head um, and uh, it's definitely disappointing that they still want to continue to do it with the Gen 6 cars um, at these mountain half tracks um, but uh, we're just going to have to see how you know if they can make tweaks to it or not necessarily tweaks but they get rid of it in the future I don't think they will get rid of it because um, they seem to be they, they are very serious about keeping it uh, especially with the change with Atlanta um, making Atlanta the repave of Atlanta it's kind of they're repaving it they're, they're adding they're doing repave in a track configuration to basically uh, make it like a super speedway so in my eyes it shouldn't be called Atlanta Motor Speedway it should be called Atlanta Super Speedway right um, yeah so another well the second biggest problem in NASCAR also because they got the main component fix which is the car with which will be the car of Gen 7 next year. The third biggest problem that I have with NASCAR is the playoff system, um, which is absolutely horrendous. We saw it last year um, with Harvick, uh, my favorite driver, winning nine races and wasn't able to advance to the final four. Um, that's just... Uh, it doesn't make any sense how 
you know, it's a motorsport, so, you know, it, the championship shouldn't be determined in one race, or like, it shouldn't be determined in like, yeah, it shouldn't be determined in one race, uh, or like a group of races, it should be a year long uh, reward uh, for winning the championship. But that's different now, and that's why they need to get rid of it. But again, I don't see them getting rid of it because um, NASCAR is obviously they they are they transition more to entertainment rather than being a pure motorsport sport. sport. Um, they actually care about the racing, and you know, so they're all about entertainment now. And uh, obviously, that's obviously a, um, two examples that is talked about it before: the full throttle racing for mile and a half racetracks, and the playoff system. Um, those are my only two problems with NASCAR. Otherwise, NASCAR is headed in the right direction. Everything otherwise. Going back to the playoff system, I personally believe the playoff system. You know, to to fix that, they should just. The number one thing with the playoff system is get rid of the win you're in uh, it's a, uh, business. When you win a race, you automatically enter into playoffs. When you win a race, you automatically advance, advance in the next round. Um, that should be gone. Um, and they should obviously, 16 drivers for the playoffs is way too much. Um, they should narrow it down to at least 10 to 12 drivers. So therefore, like, big name drivers could miss the playoffs. And that could be, you know, you know, big and what's the sense of having 16 drivers in the playoffs? And we know, like, we can already X out, like, almost like 60, almost like probably like half or probably like close to half drivers that are probably not going to be in contention. Like, Michael McDowell, you know, already crashed at Darlington. I mean, it would shock me to see him advance around, too. So, and I knew from the start, I don't. I don't think I expected Michael McDowell to move on to round three of the play round two of the playoffs. So, you know, unless he really puts up a fight, but he crashed at Darlington and now he has to race his way and race to win, you know, at um, Richmond or um, Bristol. So, you know, um, that's why I think it's pointless because 16 drivers in the playoffs and you already could cross out a lot of these drivers already that are going to be eliminated round one, it just doesn't make any sense, you know. So that's that, and they did that on the problem with the point system and stuff. You know, like I believe that I honestly would go back. To, I'm an old school guy when it comes to NASCAR, even though I've been watching it since 2010. But uh, I'm not that old, old school, old school. But I prefer the format that they had back in like 2010. You know that's a you know you know a championship should be earned you know you know not just one race or a group of races it should be earned throughout the whole entire season that's what a championship in, in, in racing should be earned and that is why if it's earned throughout the whole entire season then every race counts every race does not count in NASCAR because you could win a race in the playoffs, the first race of the season, and then finish last every or finish to be inconsistent for the next handful of races that we have before the playoffs, 20 something races there before the playoffs, and still, okay, and be entered into the playoffs, and basically, you know, have a shot to win the championship and win a championship. So basically, what about all those other races before? So this winning your in stuff to enter yourself into the playoffs and even enter yourself into the round, the round next, the, the next round of playoffs, it's garbage and it's um it's not good, you know, and uh, every race does not matter in NASCAR when it comes to the playoffs, you know, that's why there's a switch back to the to they should just get rid of the chase completely, which would they would never do, or like have it something similar to what they were doing back in like. 2010, you know, where they would just have, you know, 10 drivers in the playoffs, 
uh, race their way into the playoffs, and then they reset the points, and then they have 10 races where the driver who gathers the most points out of those 10 drivers, you know, uh, wins the championship. That's how it should be. They don't want to get rid of the chase completely, which I believe they should, but they wouldn't because they're all for entertainment purposes. Um, a third problem that I have with NASCAR I didn't really discuss before is the stage, the cautions in the stages. I just simply believe the cautions in the stages, they don't, they don't help the races. They ruin the races ever since. They ruin the momentum of the races, the comers and goers. It's basically pointless cautions um, in the stage breaks um, for no reason and stopping the race for no reason and killing the momentum of the race, you know, the strategy, natural strategy of the race, you know, and again, they do it again for entertainment purposes, money, and um, yeah, that's basically money and entertainment. That's why the reason why they have the cautions for the stages because when they have the caution for the stages, they go to commercial, they get more money, get more sponsorship, whatever, advertisements, advertisements lead to revenue. So, you know, that's why, you know, I think that's just BS. But, um, yeah, so otherwise than that, that's pretty much it uh, for this video. Um, I'm going to try to push out more content, uh, different content, um, more interesting content that, you know, new subscribers will probably subscribe to and you guys will also been subscribed to me and haven't unsubscribed for ever since I stopped posting consistently or you know wasn't posting you know as much uh, hopefully you guys can also continue to watch too so hope you guys have a great night and enjoy the race the races this weekend uh, I think personally it will be exciting and uh, the next two weeks with the Richmond and Bristol there's going to be two exciting races, um, race weekends to watch as an NASCAR fan. So, again, hope you guys have a great night, and I will catch you around soon. That's it.